looking down on the, the holiday house that my parents were staying in. I'd gone off on a hike. And my little brother must have been four, maybe even a little bit younger. And I could see him wandering around one corner of the house and the ostrich wandering around the other corner of the house. And I was sitting on the top of the hill and there was nothing I could do. They were just these two little blobs bound to encounter each other. And then the two little blobs encountered each other and the one little blob went scurrying back inside. And I'll leave you to work out which little blob that was. I also vividly remember he went through a stage where he would only eat white bread. That was all he would eat. White bread and butter. You know how kids sometimes go through that fussy stage? My brother, my brother, not the ostrich. And I remember him vividly standing on the veranda with a piece of bread and an ostrich head just coming up over the side of the balcony and plucking it out of his hand. <laughs> the expression of sheer horror on his face. Shame, my brother didn't have the best luck. He got thrown by a warthog when he was about two. He was still in, no, I mean, he was still in nappies, so he was really tiny. I think he'd only just started walking. And he got thrown into the air by a warthog. And subsequent to that, every Kruger trip that we did until he was roughly 17 years old, every time we walked, we drove past a, a group of warthog, we had to shut the car window in case they decided to come launching in just to throw him into the air again. Warthog also took his Mari biscuit. Now my brother really hasn't had the best luck in terms of wild animal encounters.